Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is another Sunday morning and I am back with another update on my Last of Us 2 level design project. I've done a ton of work in the last week and I'm very excited to show you the progress. The project is nearly done now and it looks absolutely stunning. But before I get on with the video itself, I want to remind you guys to join the Discord community where I share more updates on the project than over here. It's much more convenient to share quick snapshots and renders over there than on YouTube. So please use the link in the description below to join the Discord community. Now that that's done, let's get on with the video. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of work was done this week. I imported all the 3D assets into the engine and also textured quite a few of these assets. In section 1, I added some foliage and vegetation to show that nature is taking over again. I also textured the dishwashers and made them look old and unused and also added bloodstains on them to add more depth to the scene and also tell the story that accompanies the world of The Last of Us. In section 2, I imported all its 3D assets, barring a few fillers like utensils and plants. I also reworked the pipes in the scene and made them go around the freezer rather than through it. Section 3 follows the same theme as section 2. It has all of its 3D assets imported into the engine as well, but still requires the fillers to be imported. It also has some texturing left on some assets, which shall be done very soon. Section 4 is basically untouched from last week, except for the debris and small twigs added throughout the ground floor. These twigs are yet to be added to the basement sections. I haven't added them into the basement sections because I'm not entirely sure if they should be going in there. So I should do some more research on that before I implement them in the basement sections. I fixed the proportions and sizing of the cubicles in section 5, which is the washroom of this restaurant. I also then imported these cubicles into Unreal and textured them using the Megascans blend materials. I also added some decals to the section to give a grungier look to these cubicles. I then got a bit deviated and made two of the cubicles openable as spoken about during the paper design video. After that, I downloaded a free 3D asset for the sink from the internet and imported it into the Maya file. I placed it and resized it in Maya and took it into Unreal Engine. Right now, it looks like a brand new wash basin, but after I add some decals and work on it a bit more, I should be able to produce the grungy look for this as well. In section 6, I added the twigs as mentioned earlier and also added some vegetation by using the creeper plants. I directed them growing on the sofas once again to show that nature is taking over. In section 7, I added various decals to the walls. Megascans has a ton of decals that allowed me to bring in more details to the scene. I added decals that represented wall leakages, graffiti and also created a custom decal of the firefly symbol. So yeah, that's all the progress made through this week. A lot was covered in a short amount of time. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw. We are fast approaching the end of this project and I can't wait to see for myself and show you guys what the final product is going to look like. But um, yeah, this week I shall be adding more details and fillers into each section and hopefully have it all done by the next week. After which, only the lighting of the scene shall remain. I can't wait till the population of this level is done. It's going to look so good. So if you stuck around until this part of the video, thanks a lot. If you are a Last of Us fan, hit the like button and smash the subscribe button down below. But in the meantime, my name's Anuj. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.